let me introduce myself. My name is Julian Ortiz, um, and this is our Kennedy Revitalization Project um, from the Urban Design Studio. Before I go any further, I'd like to thank all the community partners that helped make this project possible. Um, they can be seen on the screen here. So a little preface on what an Urban Design Studio is and what we do. Um, our Urban Design Studio focuses on bridging the gap between architectural theory and architectural practice to help create uh, buildings in an urban environment with real sustenance and meaning. Some of the past projects that have been uh, brought to this conference before can be seen. Um, as you can see, we've worked everywhere from Wellsville to Andover, uh, even to Candace Arrega. So when we first began this project, we wanted to identify the issues that the, the town was experiencing, um, both economic, environmental, environmental and societal. Um, and from there, we took those uh, different qualities and different uh, problems and we analyzed them using a rating system out of five points. Um, and that, that rating system kind of allowed us to determine the areas that needed improvement and the areas um, that, that uh, were weaker than others. So this has been an all semester uh, assignment for us. We've started in late August um, and we have more presentations coming on, um, but we've met with the stakeholders and we've had several presentations uh, throughout to help us kind of gear uh, up towards this presentation. Some of the major projects you're gonna see here, um, housing developments within the hem of Ormel, uh, a public deck and in, in boardwalk in the Rushford Lake District, a park within the hamlet of Canadia, um, as well as river access um, in, I gotta move you guys, river access in the hamlet of Holland. Um, here's a brief overview of what we're gonna talk about uh, in the project. And this kind of explains how we've broken up all of these projects into three distinct phases to help with funding uh, and getting everything done on time. Here's a problem statement as well as the program statement. Um, to save you guys a little bit of time, I won't go into reading them, but they pretty much discuss uh, exactly what we hope to accomplish for this project. Uh, when we first approached the town, we wanted to familiarize ourselves with the town and everything that was going on with it. Um, so to do that, we analyzed not only their history, but the demographics of the town, as well as the external and internal connectivity of the town. So now I'm going to take you on a tour through Canada, starting with the southernmost point and working our way to the north. Our first uh, stop along this uh, tour of the town of Canada is the hamlet of Ormel. Ormel is, is the smallest of the four uh, locations of interest. Uh, we, our design proposal is broken up into three phases, with phase one being one to three years, phase two taking about three to five years, and phase three taking three to, uh, five to ten years. The big, uh, our big design for phase one is the renovation of streetscapes along Route 19. Uh, New York Route 19 runs north to south. Uh, it is a major thoroughfare for this part of the state. Uh, and part of this renovation includes the addition of a parking lot for the ice cream uh, store, because currently they park out in front of the uh, store and alongside of the road. It's kind of a dangerous part to uh, have to maneuver around. Uh, but that gives us the option to have an additional seating for the ice cream store because now it, the parking is not directly in front of it. Uh, along with those uh, renovations of the ice cream store, we have proposals for uh, updating of the sidewalks and addition of crosswalks at important intersections of the road due to a severe lack uh, to the, the town lacking the number of, there was no crosswalks in the entire uh, hamlet, very difficult. Um, and another part of it is the uh, construction of a park in the back corner of the hamlet right off of Crawford Creek Road. It's a nice small place where families could take their kids. Uh, phase two uh, has us going to the waterfront with the proposal of uh, river, uh, waterfront access that has a parking lot uh, along with uh, additions of a boardwalk and pavilions uh, with the parking lot being located off of Ormel Hill Road, uh, which is right off of Route 19, uh, makes it a very easy and convenient location for people to stop at while they're coming through and visiting the town. And uh, here is a example and renderings of what the boardwalk would look like. The boardwalk is constructed out of a floating material that allows it to rise with the changing levels of the tide over the river uh, with the pavilion sitting on top they are also very easy to maintain with it being a uh, synthetic material and also they are easy for them to be removed 
uh, when needed. The next part of phase two is the implementation of a crosswalk along the Genesee Valley Greenway Trail, which is a trail that stretches uh, pretty much the entire width of New York State in this part of the state, uh, coming down from Rochester down into Pennsylvania following the Genesee River. Uh, phase three for us has, uh, run, uh, has us looking at the firehouse in the town of Ormel with uh, the question of its uh, legit, well, whether it will be around uh, in future years as us doing both a uh, renovation, if it was to stay viable and still be open in the future, they could uh, turn to these to this design to have a updated facade of Cal, you muted yourself. What did I, what did I mute myself? Uh, the, we wanted to propose a dog park so that if the firehouse was gone, it wouldn't be an empty lot. Uh, and when we were visiting and talking to people uh, in the community, that was one thing they did say that they wouldn't, that they would love to see would be a spot for them to safely have their dogs and uh, not have to worry about them. Uh, the next part of phase three uh, sees the proposal of a housing development right along Crawford Creek Road. Uh, with this it is to it, Prove the diversity of homes and the, uh, with some being able to be for rent, uh, some being multifamily, single family, and also to help improve the architectural aesthetics of the town. And then also with that, right adjacent to the housing development is the proposal of a bed and breakfast to offer people the option if they want to come and stay while they were hiking the Greenway, tr Greenway Trail or ca canoeing or kayaking down the river. Uh, it gives a very uh, American rural uh, architectural aesthetic to it. And now we are gonna to go to the hamlet of Canadia. Moving uh, north into the hamlet of Canadia, uh, like the previous project before us, uh, we're sticking with the three phase system with our phases uh, being short-term, intermediate, and long-term, ranging from one to, uh, one to three years all the way to five to 10 years. Um, phase one of the renovations within the hamlet would include uh, signage improvements that would help people kind of navigate the space better, as well as uh, improvements to the actual roadways within the town along Route 19. Here you can see the implementation of the Eastern Redwood tree, which would be used to slow down traffic and improve the aesthetics of, of uh, Route 19 as you come into the town. Along with that, several crosswalks will be added to Route 19 to increase pedestrian safety and allow people to navigate the space safer, um, as, well, as well as a bike route uh, or bike path that will be added to Route 19 to increase interconnectivity between the hamlets and pr uh, promote a more sustainable version of the hamlet. Um, these bike paths would be crucial to getting people from through the hamlets as well as helping people navigate across Route 19 without having to uh, unsafely cross to get onto the Greenway. Moving uh, further north uh, is the idea uh, of the proposal for the Genesee Valley Trailhead and Welcome Center. Um, this building would serve as a welcome center for people as they come into the town of Canadia to acclimate themselves to the recreation opportunities found there. Um, further north than that uh, is the renovation of the Canadia River Access Park. Um, this would allow people to access the river easier and would provide for amenities such as bike repair as well as kayak rental space. Um, moving into the actual town or the actual um, downtown area of, of Canadia, um, we've proposed that the parking lot across from Little Critters is promoted or is turned into a uh, more accessible parking lot, as well as the uh, removal of two abandoned buildings next to East Hill Road. Um, to create a park. Uh, an image of that park can be seen on the top right of the slide here, um, and the park is connected to the East Hill, uh, Real, East Hill Road Bridge to uh, encourage people to um, appreciate the historic value of it. One of the biggest undertakings this project proposes is the addition of a restaurant and gas station. Uh, the restaurant, restaurant and gas station can be seen here and would encompass the two buildings seen on the slide. Across the street from that is the, uh, we propose the creation of uh, a park. This park would be done in two phases, the pocket, uh, pocket park phase, which can be seen on the screen, as well as the fully fleshed out Liberty Park, um, which can be seen on the screen here. I'm now gonna pass it over to Rushford Lake and let them explain some of their ideas. So our third idea of focus is Rushford Lake Recreation District. Here you can see the project broken down into three distinct uh, phases spanning over 10 years. Phase one of the renovation begins with streetscape along Route 243 and Lake Road. 
Here you can see a crosswalk that goes from 243 connecting with the Genesee Valley Greenway. Here's before and after of the intersection at 243 and Lake Road with the streetscape renovations that we are proposing. Here is uh, the crosswalk at the intersection. And here's before and after of the proposed bike path along 243. Phase two has two parts. The first part of the renovation consists of renovations to Moss Lake Park. Here is a pavilion and a proposed gazebo that will be located around the park. The second part of the phase two is renovations to Canadia Dam Park. Here you can see a welcome sign greeting the visitors as well as a welcome center where you could go to the bathroom and get ready to do your recreations. Here is a paved trail for the Canadia Dam, and in the middle midpoint of the trail, you will be greeted by this lovely pavilion. Here's our views of the park and the zip line that we are proposing that would go around the park. Phase three of Rushford Lake uh, is to connect Rushford Lake with the town of Canadia itself. So we are proposing that idea of a boat launch, a public dock and a public deck space to make it more accessible to Canadia. Here are two views of the public dock and deck space. Here is another view of it. And now uh, the second part of phase three is the uh, proposal of a boardwalk that will span and connect the Canadia Dam. Here's a view of the boardwalk and it's connected to the Canadia Dam. And here's a before and after of what the lake would look like. Now this is a short video that would be a, a walkthrough through the deck and the boardwalk. All right, lastly, the hamlet of Houghton. It's the northernmost location along Route 19 in Canadia. Um, similar to the first three areas of focus, we've broken down the contents into three phases and we'll be bouncing between phase two and three as we walk south to north on Route 19. Phase one will include uh, large streetscape renovations as did the previous areas of focus, adding bike lanes, trees and lighting. We have also implemented additions to the greenway and access points in this hamlet. Um, entering Houghton from the south, uh, on the right side, there will be a coffee shop complete with a full service drive through and this is constructed in place of a currently vacant building. The adjacent building uh, is a former log home business, which also remains vacant. This will be re reused as a proposed maker space and a co-work space program accessible to the public. Across Route 19 headed north is a vacant former salon. Uh, we proposed a reuse of this corner lot, creating a one-stop shop convenience store, uh, which is located relatively central within the hamlet. The adjacent corner lot has recently been purchased to hold the River Dogs Fly Shop, uh, which is complete with river supplies and fly fishing supplies. So we propose additional hardscape and landscape renovations to this lot for more appealing sites within the center of the hamlet. Um, directly across from this place is the historic post office, which was uh, recently added with a new roofing system. So our proposal includes uh, new hardscaping and landscaping to the parking lot and then renovations as well as updates to the front facade of the building, creating a blazing uh, open storefront on the first floor. The adjacent structure is a former gas station. Uh, it was recently renovated into Three Bums Pizza and we propose additional hardscape and landscaping to the front uh, for more people friendly seating um, in the center of the hamlet. Across the roadway is an existing park space. Uh, our team has generated an additional walkway and amenities to the space to nourish the usage of the space. Heading north on Route 19, on the east side stands a vacant storage building. Uh, this is a former firehouse of Houghton. Our team has developed a reuse plan for this space, inviting the Genesee River Wilds to host rentals and retreats. This location will also have a prominent access point to the Greenway. Currently at the northmost segment of Route 19, the Cania Dia Town Park exists with very few amenities for the public. Um, our team has developed plans for an extension to this park space, constructing a pathway to an extension beyond the old riverway. 
This park addition will include a walkway, pavilion, and a few amenities along the Genesee River. Our team has also developed a proposal, uh, the construction of the visitor center at the northernmost point of Caniadia. Uh, this structure will be placed adjacent to the entrance of the town park. And lastly, our team concludes these implementations and renovations with a designated river access point. Uh, this will be complete with parking, restrooms, bicycle and waterway recreational equipment storage. Local activities and current events will also be posted on the placards at the rear of the lot. I'm just going to hand the presentation over to Julian again. Um, so after we were able to quantify all the, the shortcomings of the project, uh, we went back through at the end of the project and kind of reanalyzed it. Um, and here you can see on the screen what our projected rating was versus our original rating. Um, and as you can see, we believe our improvements would help the town a great deal. Um, the next steps of this project will be pre to present this project to the stakeholders, uh, as well as uh, get this work displayed in the Gallery of Community Design in the Center of Rochester, um, as well as our, uh, the, it's anticipated this project will be re-represented uh, at professional conferences in spring 2021. Um, I, here you can see some of our potential funding sources that would help make any of these renovations possible. Um, here you can see the, uh, or this, this entire endeavor was, uh, you know, had the entire studio involved, but here you can see uh, the participating students in the conference uh, highlighted to the left. Um, and I would like to take this time to thank everybody who helped make this um, undertaking possible for us. Uh, and their names can be seen on the left of the screen. Thank you guys for listening. And uh, we hope you uh, enjoyed our project.